guys, welcome back to the channel, Take a Two. And uh, a few days back, uh, when we had the Zion crane, we totally forgot to touch base on three points. So this is not a problem. This is not an issue. So this should not be a solution or anything. But a lot of you guys are asking over the internet when I'm going through forums and everything, they're talking about, hey, what is this access lock situation? Well, access lock is basically literally the word it means that one of your accesses are locked. And uh, access lock uh, error can come also on display when um, you have not properly balanced your gimbal or you're having a front lens that's too heavy and your gimbal is not balanced properly or your motors are not pumping out the max power. So in this video, we are going to quickly touch on base how to avoid the axis lock problem, okay? So it's a very short video, run it back and forth if you want because I do not want this video to stretch more than five or six minutes. It's a six minute easy video. Uh, let's go ahead and let's demonstrate to you what you should not do when you get those errors and what you should do when you get those errors. Alrighty guys, so uh, this is how we shot the CS 2020 and this was my whole setup. Now, when you get those tilt axis lock kind of, uh, uh, you know, um, the errors and everything, it means that your gimbal is not balanced properly. Now, right now, it might seem that the gimbal is uh, kind of perfectly balanced and everything but actually the gimbal is not balanced why watch this so whenever you try to uh, you know like um, tilt the camera the camera should stay but look how much play there is look how much play there is and look how much play there is okay Zion this time has changed this in a little bit different way so at first balance this axis so in this axis the knob is located right out here if you guys can see that and all you guys going to do is quickly turn this around and then try to bring it up and down in a way that um, it does not you know tilt forward or it stays at a certain place so for me I know the exact place where I kept it and uh, it should balance out here so as you can see right now there is no play and uh, the camera stays the way it is so which means that this axis has been balanced properly now um, you will also notice that when I leave the camera and when I leave this camera you know like uh, there is front and back so the front and back axis or the side to side axis can be accessed out here so right now when I unlock the axis, there is no play on the left and the right. So left is fine. If I rotate out here, you will see that the camera stays on that axis also. Now, uh, there is a small stuff that you guys did not notice is that what about pan axis? So pan axis is basically um, if I hold this camera and I will see this that the camera falls, falls on the side, which means there's a lot of play on this. So for what you guys are going to do is that you're going to move this front forward and backward. So you move this part forward and backward. Okay. So try to bring it a little bit backward and see what happens when you try to tilt it. There's still a lot of play. So keep on moving it backward or push it backward. And let's see what happens out here. A little bit of play, which means that we are proceeding we should re achieve stabilization right out here so let's see what happens out here so as you can see right now that the gimbal is perfectly balanced so if you have balanced this gimbal perfectly you should not face any sort of tilt axis and you know other sort of error. that is the first thing that you guys need to note also note that these guys they have uh, you know like locks out here so make sure you're unlocking these parts because the weeble has these locks and everything so you guys are unlocking that part and now we're going to turn on the gimbal and see what happens so there you go there is no access lock as you can see uh, my equipment is a very heavy equipment i have got a lot of stuff out here um, i do um, I do not do like weddings or anything, but it's more like to shoot like motion picture, you know, like uh, small documentaries and stuff like that. With the Weeble, 
there are side locks so make sure your locks are turned off and since these guys they come from china and everything you know sometimes their drawings are not perfect uh which means that it shows that this should be an unlock sign and this should be a lock sign so i'm pressing the lock and this going unlock it might be different for you so keep on playing with that and make sure you unlock all of these accesses uh before you even begin shooting in that way you do not suffer any access lock and you're like what's going on in the middle of the game all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope this solved your problem if this has solved your problem and uh, you think that this tutorial was helpful do like subscribe and share this video with your friends and family those who guys have the zion crane vb lab the crane 3 plus um and even you know other for versions of the crane this does not work on crane 2 uh plus because i think hardly ever i have ever received a notice of access lock in crane 2 plus so it's only for those people those who are having vbill s vbill lab and crane 3 so um there you go guys and i i just think you know like if these we follow these three cardinal rules like uh mint balancing the camera properly the lens should be actually in balance and you make sure all of your accesses are unlocked you guys should not face any problem in the future so uh adios from the channel techadu and uh, this channel for all those returning subscribers um we have been busy through ces and i know there is a lot of videos coming up from the ces i just did not uh, want to put the best of ces or anything i wanted to make it small short videos out of it this is a quick tutorial just to help out a lot of friends uh, who are facing problem with the zion crane we will lab so see you guys on another video